pipe organs are very complex machines, and very huge machines too. Many pipe organs weren't built into churches, rather, the churches were built around them. For how large and complex these machines are, the way they operate is fairly straightforward. Let's take a look. This is the console. It's where the organist sits and plays their music. The top set of keyboards are called manuals. Each manual controls a separate voice or sound for the instrument. Down below is the pedal board. It's like another manual, but it controls bass sounds and is played with the organist's feet. These are called stop knobs. When a stop knob is pulled, it adds another voice or stop to the organ. So how does the console make sound? In reality, the linkages used to connect the keys and stops to their respective places is different for every organ. So here I've simplified the mechanism, and you can use your imagination to extend it to a full-size instrument. When a key is pressed, it pushes on a backfall, which converts upward motion into downward motion. From then, it pulls on a pallet. The pallet is a flap inside the pressurized and unchambered pallet box held closed by a spring unless a key is pressed, letting the air escape into the chambered wind chest and eventually the pipes, producing sound. So why don't all sorts of pipes sound when you press a key? That's where stop knobs come in handy. When you pull a stop knob, it tugs on a slider. This slider has holes in it that don't align with the foot of the pipes until it's pulled. When a stop isn't pulled, the pipe is sealed off from the pressurized air. You can also see here the chambers of the wind chest and the fully open pallet box. So what exactly are the pipes? There's two kinds of pipes, flue pipes and reed pipes. Flue pipes work kind of like a slide whistle. There's a wedge that splits the air and causes the wind to vibrate within the pipe. The length of the pipe determines how high or low the sound is. Reed pipes work like clarinets. There's a small tongue that vibrates when air passes over it, causing it to sound. And, like the flue pipes, the length determines pitch. And that's all you need to know about pipe organs and how they sound. If I missed anything, please notify me in the comments. Goodbye.